Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be going over how to play Dancer in PvP. As of patch 6.1, all jobs got a complete revamp, so let's go over our new kits. Before we get into the actions, I want to go over close position to make things easier later on. This is a buff you put on any ally and it'll share buffs you get to them. We'll go more into that when it arises. Okay, now onto our basic combo. Our basic combo consists of Cascade and Fountain. These are mostly used here as filler until your cooldowns are back up. The Fountain combo button will change to Reverse Cascade if you use on Avans. Reverse Cascade does 5000 potency and gives us the Blade Catcher buff. This buff allows the Fountain combo button to change to Fountainfall if you use on Avans. Fountainfall does 7000 potency and will change to Saber Dance afterwards. Saber Dance does 10,000 potency in an AoE and grants you and your dance partner a 5% damage buff for 10 seconds. If Saber Dance only hits one enemy, then it'll do 15,000 potency instead. This is an amazing attack whether you're trying to chip down the enemy group or single out a specific target. Since we touched upon on Avant, let's go over that fully. This is our movement tool which can be used as a gap closer or a disengage. It'll give us the on Avant buff which changes our fountain combo button mentioned earlier. This lasts 10 seconds and it takes 10 seconds to get a charge so I highly recommend always sitting on 3 for the maximum value out of this action. Starfall Dance does 10,000 potency in a line AoE and gives you and your partner a 10% haste buff for 10 seconds. A fantastic ability that should always be used on cooldown. Fan Dance is our first off GCD that does 4,000 potency in a cone. This cone is massive and I highly recommend being as far as you can before using this to hit everyone. We'll go over why later. This grants you and your dance partner a defensive buff for 10 seconds. Turing Waltz is an 8000 potency AoE heal from you and your dance partner's hitbox. If you both stack on top of each other and your teammates then you can heal everyone for 16,000 potency. This is an amazing sustainability I use on cooldown to keep my team healthy. Honing Dance is an AoE around your hitbox that hits for 3000 potency each hit for 4 hits totaling 12,000 potency. It gives us a claim stack per usage which will increase Honing Ovation's effect. Honing Dance will change to Honing Ovation. Honing Ovation will deal anywhere from 4 to 10,000 potency depending on two factors. 1. Did you have 3 or 4 stacks when using this and 2. Was the enemy within 5 yams of your hitbox? The skill won't let us use Honing Edge until we have 3 stacks so it's kinda weird they list lower potencies when you can't use it that early as of patch 6.11. Honing Ovation also gives all allies in range a 4 to 10,000 potency shield with the same criterias. Lastly, let's go over our brand new limit break. Contra Dance charms all enemies for 2 seconds which makes any enemy affected with this to move towards you. If you hit anyone under this debuff then it'll add 2 seconds to it one time. This is why I mentioned before to get some distance for fan dance as that's our best tool of hitting all our enemies for the maximum value out of our limit break. Dancer's general gameplay is looking to assist the team by doing a bunch of AoE damage and buffing its dance partner. You aren't the slayer of the group but if you play this job properly you can find yourself on the top of the damage dealt tab consistently. Here's a combo I use to help focus down a high value target. On Avon, Reverse Cascade, on Avon, Fountainfall, Saber Dance, Fan Dance, Starfall Dance, Curing Waltz, and Honing Dance. Use Fan Dance or Curing Waltz earlier if you or your dance partner would die, or don't use Curing Waltz at all if you don't need the heal. Before I forget, let's go over our common actions. Standard Elixir fully heals your HP and MP, but it does take 4.5 seconds to use, so when using this you want to be behind cover, otherwise if you get hit, the cast will interrupt you and you will have to start all over again. Recuperate is our only use of our MP resource. It heals us for 15,000 HP on a 1 second cooldown. Try to only use this when you'll get the full value, as MP recovery is rather slow. Every 3 seconds you get back 500 MP, so it'll take 15 seconds to get another usage which is a long time on the battlefield. Purify gets rid of debuffs and gives us immunity to those debuffs for 5 seconds so we don't get chain status. Guard reduces the damage we take by 90% and grants us numerous status immunities for 5 seconds. Well there has to be a drawback right? 
There is. You get a 50% movement speed penalty when activating this. It's best to use this when someone is trying to kill you and you couldn't escape otherwise to get the full value out of this and act as a pseudo cancel to the penalty. Lastly, we have Sprint. This increases your movement speed so you can catch up to your foes or run away to safety. If this video brought you value, please leave a like and consider subscribing as I plan on making more guides for other jobs I enjoy in PvP. Until the next video, I'll see ya!